Well, hello everyone, Dillian here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one's on the Pirate Snuff Fighter that has now that is now being released. Or now being released, of course. So on the front of the box here you have the LEGO Star Wars logos and that uh, little border that we've been seeing since last year. And of course it's with Mandal with Mando and Dinjarin and Grogu down there, indicating that's the Mandalorian, of course, since season three. In this case, the picture of the snuff fire flying through an asteroid field and the two minifigs included and recommended ages is eight and up. Set number uh, 75346 has 285 pieces. And on the back side of the box, we which have the snuff fighter in a resting position and the two features of it and that. And now onto the manual, which with that kind of plain rendering kind of picture like we've been seeing since last year. Add for transitioning to paper bags and add for the builder app. And on the back, how to win on the online survey. All the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then add for rebuild the world and add for some other uh, Mandalorian season two and three sets of which and that of which expect very soon of course and then files building steps of course <laughs> so now on to the meat First up, we would have a, a snub fighter pilot, which the torso print, leg print, quite good for that, and also some torso uh, toe printing. Which, which we don't see very much, but nice to get here, of course. And also, as for the helmet piece, which kind of the same as what previous uh, X Wing pilots. And also snow speeder pilots all have, but in gold. Nice to see here. And printing's on it, really nice. Oh. And also we which get the lead pirate, Vane. Who's a torso printing, leg printing, all of which all looks really good for that. And of course, has that all new uh ball cap bandana kind of piece there. And of course, with some interesting prints on the side of which, of course. And as you can see, that the face printing on both of these figs, of which, quite the same. It's just the same bit. But they do look quite good for how that has, with all these little spiky bits and so on. Since, of course, they are the uh, pirate characters who's that there are. And he is, of course, wielding this uh, sword piece like we've seen in most previous pirate themes, of course. And then on the back torso printing, we would, which, which back, well, back torso printing does look quite good, and also do got back head printing with these little bridges on there, since they are, of course, of the weak ray race. And as for these two mini figs right here, which, well, they're both good mini figs, but I think this mini fig selection could have been a little better if, like, say, another pirate mini fig, which could have been included here. Because if you've seen the uh, episodes of Season 3, then you would have noticed there's plenty of other pirate characters they could have included. But yeah. And that's about it with that. Now onto the snub fighter itself. Which, as you can see, from first glance, quite a un new, unique kind of vehicle to the LEGO Star Wars catalog. Like with distinct shaping and, of course, and some different designs to it. And like on the front part of which, which as you see does have a few couple of cannons above, like these little off pieces there and candlestick pieces holding uh, the lightsaber hilt pieces. But, however, the other ones that were used in Monkey Kid, but now in black and now being seen in Star Wars. Kind of interesting, of course. And of course, has a large Czechoslovakian front. 
bless me. And also do you have underneath, which is a couple newer style stud shooters with a slope behind them, and you can like tap them and you fire off like so. And also easy to load back up again. And also, as for this front part, which kind of widened out to that, like the as the front wing bits, of course. And uh, however, this slope and the tile here, which are both stickers, so there's quite a few stickers on this set to be aware of. And as for this center section, which as see, there's not much see side of brick, just bricks in the front. And of course, mostly just plates stacked on plates with a little gap in the center. Or, I mean, just a curved plate or corner plate in there. And of course, a roller skate piece acting as a little greeble in there. And also, do get some of those like newer style uh, corner plates on there, of course. And as for this cockpit area, which you probably know from like one of the uh, light year sets from last year, but instead of in trans yellow, is in trans black or so. Kind of interesting that is. But also got a couple of stickers on the sides of both of them. And does open up well. And do I have a little seating kind of area made of just a jagged slope in that. And also do you get a, a bucket handle piece there, and also a, a cheese slope with a control panel on it. And of course, they, of course, it nice and nice snug place to fit your snug fire pilot into, of course. And then on this side of which, which this little uh, hinge piece there, you can actually pop right off and attach by a single stud, and it's where you can store both their pistols and extra stud shots, of course. And so. And it's kind of, and what's interesting is that the cockpit windshield kind of closes right over it. But, but although I think it could have worked out if it were like somewhere else on that, but whatever. And on the back side, which has quite a lot of stuff going on, like like a grill piece and a and a roller skate piece again, also used as greeble detailing and. And of course, a gold bar piece in gray. First time seeing it there, and from the top and top bar, which have those uh, venting slopes, also in light gray. And this whole part with the slopes of which you can like pop right off, and then there which a crate that you can just take right out. And there's this mini crate which you pop right open, and there's a thermal detonator in there. And of course, quite simple to get right in. And also, since there is some extra space in there, you can probably fit the uh, extra stop shots for the stud shooters and pistols that were in the front part in this part as well. Well, if you choose to do so, but yeah. And as for these wing sections here, made of these like kind of recent, uh, has those like curved pieces on their end with cylinders and also an astromech droid headpiece is acting as like its extra designs for that and of course the classic wing pieces but with a sticker on it again of course however this technique built quite well for that and as for the, this back side of which which is comprised of mostly a few different cheat slopes on there and also these usual cylinder pieces with the the trans orange cone pieces acting as the engine parts, which done quite well for that. And so now, one big problem that there is with this set is it is that if you remember in the show that there is probably a large red stripe that goes down the sides, but on this set of which you don't get that, which but of course you could like modify some red plates onto it if you wanted, but yeah. And 
and house for the size of this set, which quite fair for how it is compared to like previous or recent $3 sets, which are around the same size, but at least kind of well lives up to it, but yeah. And so now on to the final verdict. Now, my overall verdict is, I think this is which a, a quite good set for how it is, like, get, like, playing good techniques, and also two interesting, neat pirate minifigs, which, which we haven't seen since, like, 2009 with the uh, pirate tank set from Clone Wars, but at least nice to see this in the Mandalorian range, of course. And, of course, although this is kind of a new, interesting set to do so. Although I, what I think is maybe instead of Vane, at least could have gotten some a generic pirate minifig or pirate weak way one to add in there, since of course we see a whole bunch of these in the show. But at least Vane, of which is still nice to have, even though he could have come in a larger set or a different set or whatever. But and of course, and whereas for the price for pieces, which Still quite good for three dollars, of course, and also do get a couple of good and good swoosh of value, and also works out as a nice, great pieces parts pack, of course, and also kind of a shame that there isn't any red stripes going on it, and although you could and again could add that on if you wanted, uh, yeah. And so now if you been enjoying if, or enjoyed Mandalorian Season 3 and are looking to get something to celebrate with, definitely get this set. And if you're looking to add an all-new addition to your Mandalorian set collection, also definitely pick this up. And if you are looking to have something to go along with the uh, Pirate Tank set from 2009, also definitely get this set. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.